At the full-time whistle on Saturday, Thamesmead Town could celebrate a unique double by winning the Kent Senior Trophy and clinching the Kent League title by beating Faversham by two goals to one. The first goal of the day was from Richard Dimmock after the referee played a fantastic advantage which resulted in a five-man passing move where Dimmock was in the middle of the pitch to receive the ball after Ricky Cable managed to turn his defender and slot the ball across the area to him. Thamesmead thought they had doubled the lead just a few minutes later when Junior Bacon nodded home. However, the referee disallowed the goal after believing there was a foul. And Faversham calls an upset by equalising on the 40th minute. Lutchford latching onto this through ball to slot home. He nearly put Faversham in the lead just a minute later when he was through on goal, but his shot, which went past Keneally, hit the inside of the post only to bounce out. Into the second half, Thamesmead worked hard to try and get the winning goal, which would clinch them the league title. And it came from Pedro Knight, after Ricky Cable's shot deflected off his shin to fire home over the line. Not that the big number eight knew much about that at all. Thamesmead weathered several Faversham attacks, but at the full-time whistle, the celebrations could truly begin, as Thamesmead were crowned Kent League champions and promoted to the Ryman League. After the celebrations had died down, we caught up with Keith McMahon to get his thoughts on this historic day. Is that the sweet smell of um, success by Thamesmead Town today? Yeah, it's been a long time coming. Um, it's been hard, uh, full credit to the sides chasing us. You know, we've won 15 league games on the spin. Um, you know, VCD, Beckham and I uh, need a lot of credit. They, you know, they kept winning, we kept winning and uh, they pushed us to the end. But you know, we've deserved that. We've just said we haven't lost since December. We've lost one league game at home all year, one away game all year. The boys deserve that. Yeah, today was hard, Fabian played well, but you know, we've ground results out. And when you're under pressure, um, and like I said, under pressure to win the, all, all the other games building up, you know, it was just, just keep winning teams are chasing us. But when you only need to get over that line, um, you know, a little tense and whatever at the end of the day, but the, the lads played and, and held firm and, and deserved it. So I'm, I'm really proud of them and they deserve everything they got today. So yeah, good stuff. There's been a few doubters over the last few weeks and um, obviously today um, you've put everything uh, into perspective mm. and you've proved them wrong. Um, did you get the feeling, even back at Christmas when we started wobbling, that um, we had the strength in depth of the squad and the spirit within the dressing room to yeah. carry through and yeah, uh, well, get, to get to where we are? Listen, I don't listen to any doubters. There's some idiots on websites and that. And I read it and they're entitled to opinions and that's not a problem. And, you know, they try and... Uh, on you and, it, and to be fair you've got to just take it tonne in, uh, like tonne in cheek just a little bit of banter and that's not a problem the doubters um, and some of them were maybe from our own place over the Christmas thing people said we had a blip well I've said and I think I've been on record we didn't have a blip over Christmas we were better over Christmas this time was last year we lost um, one game two from Belvedere away it was just over the course of maybe two weeks um, where you know we could have got something out of the game but here we played well we played very poorly here against Seven Oaks in the rain, and Seven Oaks again was superb and deserved their victory. And they're the only, that's the side that I say, yeah, we deserve to lose. We were poor. And then in the midweek, I put a youth side out in the League Cup, already qualified. Um, so it was only over that short period of time, and then, you know, we've gone on and, and, and drawn and, and won every game. So there was no pressure. When, when I uh, decided at the beginning of the season, I knew what side I wanted. I knew I wanted to sign Richard Dimmock, um, Lou Watts, and Chris Keneally. To, to strengthen. I know we had a good side last year, but we just fell short and we needed that little bit of experience and that experience has shown, you know, to get us through. And if you look at the squad and, you know, a lot of teams have, have signed a lot of players and I, and I haven't. I've got an unbelievable youth side with five or six have always been involved. Different today because, you know, we had some Dean Keelys and Pedro, um, sorry, Deaders and all that back fit. So I, I went for the experience a little bit more. I, I did have a couple of youth sold. Danny Chapman played. But I knew I had a side that could go on and win it when things got tough like they have, you know. And, and I built around that. I've only had to add Bingy because Sammy Thomas has been injured most of the year. And I've had to add Junior Baker because Dead has got an injury and Dean Keely uh, picked up a long term injury. Apart from that, I've not signed anyone um, because I knew we had a squad here to win it. And I've been proven right. Full credit to the lads. We've been lucky with injuries. We picked up a couple of long term ones. But some have had bigger, a lot more injuries than we have. Our discipline has been first class. We've had no real suspensions. We've had one game here and one game now. I think we've had maybe one player sent off all year, and that was Dimo right at the beginning of the season, the FA Cup, if I'm right. I might be wrong, I can't think back. 
So, you know, we've conducted ourselves very professionally from day one right to the end there, and uh, we deserve it. The league table will never lie, so the lads have been brilliant. And, you know, it hasn't sunk in, like I said, but I think it will go in the next course of uh, 10 pints or so. Absolutely. You, you, you've said it there that it hasn't quite sunk in yet, and it's too early to think about the Ryman. But yeah. do you feel that we've really got the experience here, as you've just said, to hold our own in the Ryman next season? Yeah, I, it depends on what league we're going. Uh, I don't think it's, it's, it's going to be new to us, and it's a challenge. You know, we've made history here today. Tends to be Town Football Club have, you know, never been in the Ryman League. Um, we, we've finally got there now, um, and all we need to do is, you know, there'll be one or two players that we're looking to strengthen. Um, you know, we could lose one or two from for higher clubs that could come in off the big wages. We haven't got that here, but um, you know, I think we'll hold our own. And I'm not saying we're going to go and win it. We first thing is we need to do whistle done and, and hold our own. And then, you know, we build from there. And you see, we've had a two, three year building process here since I've been a manager. And it's all coming to light. And it's, you know, there's no luck in that. And the youth team look like they're going to win the treble. The, uh, the reserves have won the league. The first team have won the league and the cup. You know, how many Kempney sides can say that everyone, you know, we, we could have come away with five, six trophies this year. Um, so I'd say that for the future, it's very bright for Tentry County Football Club. So, yeah, no, it's good. Again, the only sad point of the day, and I will say it, um, now we've won the league and we're, we're going into the Ryman League. Very, very disappointed with the Kent League. Uh, we've won the league today and no one's presented us the trophy. And I think that is absolutely scandalous. Um, you know, the, the Kent League itself, we, we've asked them for a little bit of backing a couple of times this year and they haven't done it. Um, and that's the difference between the Ryman League, maybe in the leagues above and this league. And, uh, you can see why every club wants to get out of it. I think, you know, they've had a, a reserve team cup final, which is important, but winning the Premiership. Um, to, to someone to at least come down and present the trophy today has been poor. It has taken the shine off the celebrations after the match today. Everyone was obviously over the moon about the achievement this season. Yeah. But um, in the meantime, we just need to celebrate, we need to enjoy this, and then yeah, get on with the hard work next season yeah, in the Ryman League. Yeah, that's right. And we conduct self professional. Like I said, we, we, people said we didn't celebrate too much last week, which is true. We had our minds on this. You know, we really did celebrate after the game. I think we were a bit mad. but. You know, it's like winning the FA Cup and you're walking up the stairs and they just say, oh, I'll give it to you next week. It, it just doesn't happen. It only happens in the Kent League. And I think that is, is ridiculous. It has took a shine off it and, it. and I am annoyed about it because my boys deserve the trophy today. In fact, they're home crowd, you know, and, and, and could celebrate, as you normally celebrate, so a massive, massive achievement. You know, and, and it has been a great achievement from us. We're, you know, we're, we're not a particularly flush club with money. We've, uh, we've all dug deep as a committee and, and, and every individual player and they deserve their rewards today. The only plus is no one can take it away from us. So they deserve it, the club deserve it, and uh, obviously we're over the moon. No, Kent League champions, go out and enjoy the time. Double and winners. Enjoy the celebrations. Not just Kent League winners, that's what you've got to think about. And that's a major achievement. You know, I've been manager two years, we won the League Cup, Kent's in a trophy, now the, now the league. Disappointed we couldn't win the Vals, but uh, hey, you can't win everything. Well, Keith, thanks very much, and uh, here's to a fantastic season next year as well. Yeah, it's going to be hard to top. It's going to be hard to top, but uh, I think when we start looking in the summer and looking at some of the grounds we're going to have to go to, and, and uh, I think it, it send a little chill down our spine for how far this football club's come. And we couldn't do it you know, without on our own. We've, we've done it with a lot of backing. We've done really well with the ground, mm -hmm. and fair play to the boys. They've, they've, they've backed it up as well, and uh, it's great times for this football club. That's great. Well, Keith, thanks very much. Cheers, Kevin. So then it was time on this historic day at Thamesmead to crack open the champagne and kick Tommy the Toad's head around. So the league championship and the Kent Senior Trophy double for the first team has capped off a fantastic week where the reserves also clinched their league title and the youth team managed a brilliant treble to make this the most successful season at the club. We'll be back next week with the presentation of the Kent League Trophy but we leave you with more champagne and celebrations. Until next time, from Thamesmead TV, take care and goodbye.